Hi guys, this is Malang with the Briar Home Buyers, and today we're going to talk about the five tips that you need, or the five things you need to fix first before you start selling. Hey guys, it's Malang with the Briar Home Buyers. So today our video is about the five things that you should fix before you consider selling your house. Um, so number one, uh, lick down the flooring. I know we all just kind of do as we please with our house, uh, but when you want to sell, you gotta have to consider the fact that this flooring has been there for 10 or more years. Your dog has probably peed in that corner for the past 10 or more years. Um, these sort of things are easy to overlook because it's home to you and that's normal for you, but that when you start trying to sell, uh, they're kind of red flags to the people that are going to be buying. Um, so what we suggest is to either, you know, get rid of the old flooring that's destroyed or really damaged to the point where you can't even clean it up anymore or go ahead and rent one of those um, really nice big vacuum uh, carpet washer things. They're pretty cheap at like Walmart and stuff, so that's tip number one. Uh, number two is to look up. So ceiling and roof and walls, that sort of stuff. Um, you're looking for water damage, you're looking for cracks, you're looking for pretty much anywhere that has like a little boo-boo. Um, so if you haven't replaced the roof in a while, you're gonna want to do that because if you don't do it, then the buyer is gonna somehow weasel their way into saying, oh, well, then we're gonna have to take this price down a little bit more because we're gonna have to do it. Um, and then you also want to get rid of any sort of blemishes in the ceiling from who knows wear and tear of just living there. Um, and then you also want to look around. Uh, so you'll want to repaint the walls for the most part. Um, it's kind of crazy how much just a simple paint job can change the whole look of a house. So, you know, we've, you probably raised kids in this house, so you have all of their years of just putting their hands all over everything. Um, so just a simple paint job of just painting it white again or any sort of color that makes it pop. Um, bright colors are is probably your best go-to. Um, and then the next tip is to do some landscaping. We can't say it enough, curb appeal is a real winner. Um, if you can't get people to think that it's a nice house right when they get there, the likelihood of them actually going in to go view the inside of it is a lot slimmer. And then finally, uh, the kitchen and the bathroom are probably going to be the areas that you should or will spend the most money uh, remodeling and that sort of thing just because those are kind of like the key places that people like, that's like the selling point of a house for most people. Um, and we're not saying that you have to drop like several thousand dollars. Um, all you could do is just refinish, like like if there's hardwood in the kitchen or something, just refinish that area. You could repaint cabinets. Um, a lot of people just kind of fix the fixtures in the kitchen and in the bathroom, um, just kind of replacing little knobs on cabinets, um, replacing faucets and that sort of thing, just trying to make it look newer, uh, round it out better, because there have been several times at my parents' house where they've just kind of put any sort of knob on a drawer just because whatever, who cares, we're the only ones that are living here. Um, but when you want to sell, this stuff kind of matters. But uh, yeah, so those are our five tips for the five things that you need to fix before you consider selling your house. Um, if you have more questions or if you want to reach out to us, um, you can click the link below, fill out a form, all that good stuff, and we'll be in touch. Thanks.